Yeah, thanks, Paul. Um, first and foremost, um, apologies for the delay, and thanks for the great attendance considering the tragedy that took place in London earlier today. Um, it's been, you know, it's it, it's been it's been great being able to bring such a brilliant heavyweight fight to the UK, with especially with Huey being challenger. Um, for me, um, this is you know refreshing. It's what boxing's all about. We have two, you know, massive modern day heavyweights, both young, both undefeated, both got charisma and they're fighting for a genuine heavyweight world title. And, you know, there's, there's no mystery to this. It's a 50-50 fight. You know, we fancy it our side, they fancy it their side, but this is a 50-50 fight. This is, this is what the public want, and it's for the genuine heavyweight title. Um, you're right, we're delighted, myself and Peter, to get this on, on in the UK at such a, a world-class venue like the MEN. Um, you know, I'd like to thank, you know, Team Fury, Peter, um, you know, for, for, for working tirelessly on this. I'd like to thank David Higgins and Duco Events and Joseph Parker for, for you know, great negotiations. They, they, they actually, what made this easy was the fact, you know, we obviously had to get the economics right, but what made it easy is, um, you know, Joseph is a, is a true world champion. He sees... He sees that there's a, you know, this is this country's becoming fast becoming the heavyweight capital of the world, and you know this is all about showcasing two of the best young heavyweights on the planet on the 23rd of September at the MEN. So I think it was, you know, it was great business by by Duco Events and us, and um, we're absolutely delighted to give um, Huey his opportunity, our first genuine heavyweight world title in his backyard in Manchester, and we're expecting a great, great evening. We're going to be looking to put a fantastic undercard on. Our team's working hard on that at the moment. Um, I've got a fantastic new team at Hennessy Sports, and I want to thank every single one of them, because we're going to really do something special with this event. And um, yeah, let's get it on. I won't keep you any longer. We've got the main, main people here. Thank you. Thank you. Many co-promoters, of course, with Duco Promotions, uh, represented by the CEO this afternoon, David Higgins. David, on the back of an amazing event for yourselves last week, uh, promoting the uh, Horn and uh, Manny Pacquiao fights, which broke all records, uh, now you're bringing Duco Promotions to England. Welcome. Yeah. Hey, it's uh, on behalf of the team. Great to be here in Manchester on a lovely day. and. Uh, that was a joke. Um, anyway, look, um, now it's great to be here. Uh, we've, um, it's been an incredible journey. Um, I think we should acknowledge Tyson Fury and Peter Fury, that tremendous victory over Vladimir Klitschko to end that long reign, sort of in a way made this... We, we probably wouldn't be sitting here today if, that, if Tyson hadn't achieved that. And, um, you know, we'd like to see him back in the room pretty soon and hopefully get a shot there too. Uh, anyway, so since then, um, Joseph had a, a close and hard-fought victory against Andy Ruiz, as you know, and became WBO Heavyweight World Champion. The first New Zealander ever to do it, and the first person to do it on New Zealand soil. Um, and then obviously mandatory was Huey. And, uh, you know, we've always wanted to come to the UK, and it was not said earlier, it's the... Um, the epicenter of heavyweight boxing at the moment. So we're not worried about fighting anywhere, and we've, it's been a goal to fight in the UK. Um, last time around, the terms weren't quite right, so it did go to Perth Spurred and was going to happen in New Zealand. Um, this time, the injury might have been a blessing in disguise, because this time round, we've managed to work quite closely with Mick and the, the team to reach what we think are agreeable terms, which is why we're here. And so we'd like to thank Mick uh, Huey Fury, Peter Fury and, and your side for uh, making this possible. I think um, it is, it's a great fight. You know, Huey, um, world amateur champion, unbeaten, and Peter in the corner, you know, everyone wrote um, Tyson off, but they very good tactical corner there, so, you know, tricky. Um, Joseph, 
late and quick hand speed, never been knocked down in sparring or fights, never been off his feet. So it's a fascinating matchup. Um, I'm looking forward to it. And we, we uh, look forward to selling out Manchester Arena. Thank you, everyone. It is a pleasure to have on the top table as well, Tyson Fury. Tyson, we could not have you on the top table without an opinion from yourself. You're obviously the undefeated boxer. You've been there, you've got the t-shirt, you former English, British, European, Commonwealth, IBF, IBO, WBO, heavyweight champion of the world. You've been there, you've got the t-shirt. How's it like being world champion? Tell us all about it. <coughs> you don't want to know what it feels like from my uh, point of view. Um, but all I can say is a really 50-50 fight between two good, young and unbeaten heavyweights and may the best man win. Shake hands afterwards. How, how would you give Huey some advice in the build up to this? Obviously this is the biggest fight night of Huey's career. He's built it up very, very nicely to where he is now. Would you give Huey any advice now? Would you leave it to Peter? I'd say don't do what I done because if it was my press conference all these tables and chairs would be flying. They'd be fun and game circus acts. But no, I can't give anybody advice. Huey's his own man and his own person. So I'm sure you and Peter will have a good game plan for the fight. And like I say, they can only do our best in boxing. And if it's good enough, then you'll win. If it's not good enough, then you lose. Simple. It's not rocket science. It's just ABC. Huey's coming on very well as well. He's, he's still that. He's looking great. He's looking really good and healthy. And uh, 50 55. Uh, any predictions maybe from you, Tyson, for this one? The only prediction I can make is that both of them's young, ambitious, and hungry to become the world number one. Um, so it's a great, great fight. And I can predict one thing it'll be an exciting fight, and both fighters will give 100% on them. I'm sure of that. Thank you, Tyson, for your Peter. We're round to you now, Peter. Please, I remember just March last year, we was at Wembley. We was doing the uh, press conference for the Dominic Wynn fight. You said to us all then that Huey was not ready to challenge for a world fight. That was March 2016. Uh, you did say then, by the end of 2017, that Huey would be challenging for a world title. How right you were. Is he ready for it now? Well, a lot of people chat shit in boxing, but I don't like to, so... It's um, whatever we plan out, whatever I say, you know, not, not always comes true, but uh, we try our best. Um, but yeah, at the time we were speaking, he was still learning his trade. <coughs> He's had uh, some good uh, fights. He's had some good learning fights. And uh, this is his time now. He's, uh, he's been five years now coming up, and he's still 22, not 23, by the way. He's, uh, so he's been five years as a professional. And he's, he's mixed it with everybody. He's had ups and downs in the gym. He's had ev everything you can imagine. But the main thing is, it's season for fight night. So he's as ready as he's going to be. There's not going to be any excuses. You know, don't want pe you know this is like Tyson said, 50-50 fight. The best man will win on the night. This is boxing. You know, it's a beautiful sport. And it's nice for uh, two unbeaten heavyweights. You know, these are not promoter protected. Neither of these lads. And I say this because Park has always had plenty of respect from us as a young fighter coming through. Me and Tyson, you we've looked at him coming through, he said, Yeah, he can fight this kid. You know, so this ain't somebody where somebody's got a belt out of a dustbin. This is somebody who's a young man, he's fighting a serious contender for this title, you know, in Joseph Parker. And I believe it is a 50 50 fight, and uh, we're looking forward to it. What I will say is, Having met Joseph Parker, what a lovely young fella he is. You know, he's a, a proper gentleman of the sport. And he's, uh, in his ways, he's a lot like Yui, because Yui's also similar nature to him. You know, he's a religious lad. I think both of them are church-going lads as well. So what a fantastic opportunity to see two young fighters go at it. And it's like Tyson said, ultimately, you know, this is a fighting game, it's all about the fighters, and may the best man win. You know, I've got my son in here, but re this is regardless. This is a sport, and the best man will win. And Joseph Parker, he'll be treated with a height of respect over here. There'll be no tricks like we had in Germany, which was pathetic. This is 
proper boxing on a world level and they get the maximum treatment, maximum respect. They will have no complaints boxing over here. Peter, Joseph has got 12 of these wins inside three rounds. Very dangerous to follow. Can you sort of say any sort of way you're going to take this one off? Are you going to game plan this one? Are you obviously being such a, a hard hitter so early on? Well, yeah, it's like Tyson said, A, B, and C. When he throws a shot, try and miss it. <laughs> Just uh, having seen Tyson to a world title, you've obviously been there as well and got on the t-shirt as well. Biggest fan of Huey's life as well. Did, did you learn anything as a trainer, Peter, maybe from when Tyson won that world title or you can pass on to Huey now in preparation for this one? We work the same way, you know. We've always, you know, for the past 12 months, been working on stuff with Yui. We're working on technique. You know, he went out and had a run out the other day. You know, he's only 60% fit, you know, because we're not going to have somebody in camp while all this is going on. His camp, his camp will start as of from Monday. I know Joseph's going to start at the same time and his team. So he'll be raring to go on uh, fight night, but he had a run out the other day and he's been prepared ab absolutely right. So uh, we're very happy with the way things are. Thank you, Peter. And to move on now to Joseph's trainer, Kevin. Welcome to England, Kevin. Thanks very much. Tell us about your boxing, Kevin. What's your, uh, what's your surprise about uh, well, look, firstly, I'd like to uh, thank Mick and Peter for putting this on today. And I would also like to acknowledge the favour that Tyson did to the boxing world by beating Klitschko. Um, we took a, a, a lot of pride and satisfaction in that win. And, and I, I vividly remember the afternoon where I sat down with Joe and watched it. And it brought some excitement once again back into the heavyweight division. And I, I wish him all the best. And we're really looking forward to seeing him getting back in the ring. Um, I was very pleased with what uh, Peter was saying. All we want is, a, is an even playing field here in, in Manchester. Um, I know that Joseph Parker will be in fantastic shape. Uh, Joe is a, is a student of the game. He is a man who takes a lot of pride in his performance. And I know that uh, this fight, when it was first talked about and when we were going to have it in New Zealand, I said to Joe, this will be the hardest fight of your career. And let's remember that Joe has beaten Carlos Takam and Andy Ruiz. Ruiz was 29 and 0, and both Takam and Ruiz are in everybody's top 10. So, you know, he has wins against very, very good opponents, and I think that the challenge against Huey is even a bigger challenge than those two fights. I've watched Huey for the last couple of years. In fact, you know, I knew eventually that Joe and Huey were going to fight. So, um, as most trainers do, they, they watch the, uh, the opponents who are out there, those who are improving, and Huey's getting better every time he enters the ring. There's no doubt about that. He's a young man that's growing into his body. He brings a very, a very skillful, very awkward style, and one that we have to prepare very, very well for. Um, also, you know, trying to put a team of sparring partners together to prepare for somebody like him is a, is a big task because he has a very unique style. Uh, I know I haven't answered the question that you asked me, but I will now. Uh, my father, Joseph Parker, is uh, uh, he's a great young man. He's a, a young fighter who is one of the youngest men to win the heavyweight world title. You know, we developed and built Joe up in New Zealand, right down the bottom of the world. Um, picking up belts, moving up into the rankings, and we took him all the way to the WBO Heavyweight Championship of the World, thanks again to Tyson. Um, so it was always our plan to come to the UK. Um, it was always for us, it was the UK one, the United States two. Even though Joe lives with me in Las Vegas and he prepares for all his fights in Vegas, this market here in the UK was where we wanted to be. So we as a team are really excited to be here for this fight. How difficult do you think it will be bringing your fighter halfway around the world to fight in Huey's home city in front of over 20,000 predominantly UK fans? Well, it's a crowd that's a little bit larger than what we're used to fighting in front of. But it's a, you know, it's a, it's a test that Joe's ready and, and our team is ready to take now. 
You know, Joe's been a pro for five years. You know, we can't stay in New Zealand. Um, coming here to the UK will have its challenges. But, you know, we train in Las Vegas and we fly to New Zealand, you know, so that brings a, a, a set of challenges. You know, we will, we will prepare very, very well for this fight. And uh, we will look forward to spending a couple of weeks here before the fight and, and getting involved in the promotion and making this a, a great event for Manchester. Thank you, Kevin. We'll move on now to the two gentlemen who will headline the night in September, right here in Manchester. Healy, we'll start with you first of all. Started way back in March 2013. Various venues of all sizes. We started off in Montreal, Canada. Since then, you've also Madison Square Garden, it's also Wembley Arena as well. This time, it's the Manchester Arena, it's in your whole city. Over 20,000 fans, and you're the headline bout. You must be very proud. First of all, I just want to say a big thanks to our sponsor, uh, Applied Nutrition. And um, yeah, I'm proud that the fight's in Manchester, and I'm excited as well that to put on a show, two young, ambitious fighters are going to fight. So I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a great night. Your father did say in March last year, just to go back to what we had that he wasn't quite ready for that world title crack. You feel you're ready for it now in 2017, Kelly? 100% I'm ready. Do you know what it is? I've had all my down battles outside the rink, and it's all repaired me mentally strong for where I am now. And I believe that I've got it in me to achieve this because, like I said, from a young kid growing up, it's all been for this moment here right now. And I believe 100% that I've got the tools in the bank to do it. Good morning, your life, President Tyson. How much has seen that victory in Germany a couple of years ago inspired you to move on to that greatest prize? Yeah, that was, that was an unbelievable night and we'll never forget it because it was a, a great moment for the family. We uh, will never forget that and it was was a spectacular moment and we're going to make history again. Going back to Tyson's with a lot of people at the time didn't think that Tyson was going to win. Maybe doubters for yourself as well, a message to any doubters? Do you know what it is? I'm going to prove you all wrong. All the doubters out there, listen, I let me fist do the talking. That's about it. But we all believed in Tyson that he was going to do it from the start. And the same belief is in my family. They all believe me that I'll pull off as well. And we are 100% confident that we'll do it. If you could just explain to us as well, you've recently been quoted as saying that you've, you've only been boxing at 40 and 60%, and it's probably pointless that Joseph and his team should watch the older footage of you because this is more of a new year and you're going to be 100%. Do so you want to just explain that one for us? Yeah, no one has never seen me 100% before. No one's seen me like this, so going back over my old tapes, that's a completely different me. I was, my blood was poisoned, and you're gonna see a completely different fighter. So the 23rd of September, you're gonna see a new Yui Fury, and I'm here to shine. Tell us about Team Fury. What is it like being part of probably the most famous boxing family in modern uh, boxing, and the unity with that as well? Listen, it's, a, it's, a, it's great pride as well, because we do come from a good family, and like I said, we won't be here today without the man myself outside of me, he's my dad, because he's guy directed us in the right direction, and he's, uh, like you say, he's done it for Tyson, and he's going to be there in my corner as well. So I'm super confident going in this fight. And just a few words on Joseph as well. Obviously, a fellow undefeated boxer, he's obviously very hard into boxing with a dozen of his fights finishing inside three rounds. Maybe a few words on, on your thoughts on Joseph? Yeah, Joseph Park is a good fight. He's a good fighter, and he comes across a gentleman as well. You can see, but I will tell you this: I can see their team and him looking past me already, underestimating me. Like they're already going on meetings with uh, what's his name now, Eddie, Earn. so and arranging arranging fights. But I tell you this: I would take me completely serious because I am coming for that belt, hundred percent. And, and to Eddie Earn, cockroach, yeah, because that's what you are, yeah, you and your big stiff fighter, yeah, I'm coming for you next, yeah, when I get that belt, me and Tyson is unifying this full division together. That's a full stop. Thank you, just a quick response there from anybody from, uh, you know, 
I can promise you this, like, you know, we have come a long way. Uh, Dave's come from New Zealand, so has Craig, I've flown from Vegas. We're making the most of our opportunity here in London and meeting with uh, Eddie Hearn was not looking past Huey Fury, I can promise you that. If anyone knows anything about me, is I'm a detail guy and, and I don't leave anything, un any stone unturned. And I, as you heard me say before, I think this is the hardest fight of Joseph's career and I am not looking past Huey. Yeah, I think it's worth saying the uh, boxer and trainer are fully focused on the fight in front of him, but the promoter's job is to scan ahead, you know, for all eventualities. So I'm backing Kevin up there. It's not looking past, it's just making the most of the massive airfares we paid for to get up here. Joseph, welcome to England. Oh, it's good to be here. Good to see you all. Thank you all for attending the press conference today. It's good to be here with my team. Good to see Team Fury. Um, it's now since December last year that you was crowned the WBO heavyweight champion of the world. How has life changed in these months since you was crowned champion? Uh, since December, since being champion, since becoming champion of the world, life's been great. I mean, I've been enjoying life. Um, it's just given me extra motivation now to train even harder for the next fights that I have. You know, um, Looking, oh, taking what uh, Huey said, we're not taking him lightly and we're not looking past him. So I'm looking forward to, you know, I've had a long break in New Zealand. I've enjoyed time with my family and my friends. And I'm looking forward to going into camp um, starting this week when we're back in Vegas and working hard and being as prepared as we can be for this fight September 23. Tell us about that victory when I came in December. It, uh, our scorecards was a very close bout. It was a majority decision. It was. Uh, 114, 114, two of the judges had 115, 113, and then you must have been sat there the voice thinking, have I got it, have I not? And then when the announcement was made and knew it was your name, tell us about that moment. Um, you know, it's a, it's a fight, it was a very hard fight, you know, Andy Ruiz, um, just, he was very skillful. He had a lot of power and, you know, at the end of the fight, I, I thought I did enough to win the fight. And when, when they had raised my hand, I was very excited and it was a dream come true. It was one of those, I was able to tick off one of those goals that I set for my life and I was able to celebrate with my dad, my family, my coach and it was just, you know, all the hard work we put in um, all paid off at that stage. First events, of course, earlier this year in May, the scores suggested would have probably been an easier outing for you that night. Now, different ball game all together. You're again halfway around the world in Huey's home city. You can have the 20,000 fans, arguably, cheering for Huey. He's a real unit at six foot six. Boxer in his prime again, undefeated. Again, even though you're champion, it's a very daunting task ahead. Yeah, I'll be, even though I'm champion, I'm looking forward to the challenge of uh, fighting Huey. I'm looking forward to uh, fighting the style that he brings. And he has a great team behind him, so I know he'll be as prepared as he can be and be ready. I'm looking forward to traveling here and fighting here in Manchester. I know I've been fighting a lot back home. And I love the crowd. I love being back with my family and, and sort of the structure that we have back home. But I think it's time to move here now. And I mean, this is where the heavyweights are at the moment. So I want to come here and I want to, my goal is to come here and put on a great fight, an exciting fight that will get the crowd going and get the crowd happy. And um, I, know, I know it's going to be a great fight. And Joseph, what you were just saying that it's absolutely pointless watching any footage of him because it is the new Huey. He was only fired at 40 or 60% previous fights. And now he's going to be 100%. Does this mean that you're going to view and go into the fight any differently, or are you going to view the footage and try and see what you can suss out from here? I think going into camp, my, um, I'll leave. I'll leave that up to my coach. My, my coach and I will watch some of the footage, and we'll pick up what we can pick up, and then we'll make a game plan which we believe we'll be able to counter what he brings. And you've heard Huey saying that himself and Tyson are going to unify the division. Maybe a prediction for yourself at this time, Joseph? Um, my prediction is that I'm just, uh, to say um, all I want to do is come here and put in a great fight. That's what I want to do. And uh, I back myself with any heavyweight I jump in the ring with. I'm confident when I train hard that I can do the job. He's also confident. He's going to come ready and prepared. So I'm just going to say it's going to be a great fight. And let's see, you know, the best man's going to win. So it is Huey and it is Joseph, gentlemen. Do you, do you need to say anything to each other now? 
Does anyone want to talk? Hear it? May the best man win. That's all I've got to say. See you September 23. Look forward to it. Promise this to be a great night, guys. Just an invite to everybody on the top table. Would anybody like to offer anything else to the rest of the audience before we maybe take one or two questions from the audience? All right, then, members of the press, anyone have a question what you'd like to ask anyone on our top table this afternoon? Um, it's important for me because, you know, fighting in New Zealand, living in Vegas, training, I see that most of the heavyweights, there's a lot of noise, there's a lot of um, you know, the, the exciting fights happening here. And I felt like um, you know, our, our team felt like we wanted to be a part of it. And so it was, it was very important for us to make the move to come here and to fight here. And hopefully put on a great performance so we can show the world what we're made of. Like, hey, let's remember that uh, about a year ago, Joe was number one in the world. He was a mandatory with the IBF, and we were supposed to fight Anthony Joshua. So, you know, our, our paths to coming here to the UK were, were always inevitable. You know, we knew we were coming, and we could have been here a year ago, but we, we offered to take the WBO route. So, you know, this is something that we're very excited about. I know that Joe's going to train really hard. I know that Huey's going to have to be very, very good to take the belt off him. And, you know, we plan on, on campaigning here in the UK um, from now on. You know, we don't, we're not looking to fight back in New Zealand for some time. I've got a, quest I've got a question for Tyson Fury. Um, <clears throat> We watch everything that you do. We've, as you already know, we're big fans of yours. But we see you trash talk David Hay. We see you trash talk Anthony Joshua. All the names. But the one guy you have never trash talked is Joseph Parker. And we are actually shocked by it because we, we actually don't understand. And we've been waiting for it, waiting for it, because at the end of the day, it gives us good media. But why have you constantly kept the same way and not trashed Joseph Parker? <coughs> because Joseph Parker is one of those fighters that I admire. Um, I've watched all of his fights from turning pro, and I've often given him advice on yeah, social media, yes. and we've always wished him luck and congratulated him after his fights. Yeah. And I don't intend to trash talk Joe, never. Um, David A needs trash talk in times 10. <laughs> all the rest of them need it because the fakes. Joseph's a proper man, says it how it is, comes to fight, He's took good, good learning fights along the way, hard fights like I did myself. Joe reminds me of me, fight anybody, anywhere, and has always come through. So the other guys, why I trash talk them is because they're pretenders and they can't fight. Where I know Joe is not a pretender and he can't fight. So, so that's why I don't. So you're saying Joe's a, a very good fighter, so does that, mean, does that mean you're worried about it for your cousin? Against, against Joe's? No, worried, no. Um, happy for them both, yes. Um, it's just boxing, it's not uh, tap dancing. Um, you go in there and there's always a chance that you can lose. Even when I fight as confident as I am, there's always that chance I could get knocked out. So whatever will be, will be. It's all in God's hands. And if you're supposed to win, then you win. And if you, if you don't win, then there's no point in crying over it. Just get on with it and touch yourself off and bounce back, really. But um, I admire both fighters. Obviously, I've been there with you from the beginning of his career, even before he was boxing. So obviously, I... Um, Give him loads of advice and then pointers, but like I said before to the guy over there, I, I, I can't give anybody advice on how to fight anybody else because I can only be accountable for myself. And with you, Ian, m m my style's mm -hmm. quite different and our personalities are quite different. So, yeah, but I, I am happy to, uh, I'm happy to meet Joe in person and I'll shake his hand in a minute and uh, congratulate yeah, yeah. him properly. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, not, not just talking well, to me I'll and trusting everyone else. <laughs> Just to wrap up the press conference, Tyson, wish you all the best going forward. Team Parker and Team Fury, I know you guys are going to deliver an absolute 1 million percent respectful build up to each other, absolutely brilliant. To Peter, good luck also to Kevin as well. To uh, the promoters, to, uh, to David and Mick, 
knowing we're going to deliver a fabulous night in September. And finally, to our two boxers, we wish you both a safe journey in the ring, guys. And as you said previously on this press conference, may the best man win. Good luck, everybody.